most extraordinary things about working with Omajeli is that he is able to fall asleep in between takes, sometimes during takes, uh, just at the drop of a hat. It's, it's an inspiring ability. Omid, Omid, how are you? What are you dreaming about? I'm you were my dream player, you were there what as well. I? What was I doing? There was a very unattractive northern girl talking to you and you were trying to get away from her. Get away? Not yes. get off of her? Okay, I wonder who she is. an overweight Pakistani Muslim. His nemesis was an American Jewish cab driver. Together, they were infidels. We're here actually to um, arrest a man for inciting racial and religious hatred. If no. violence raises its ugly head, we'll be there. Do you want some? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I really wanted Paul to be in the film, but I have to be honest with you, I thought, well, he looks like a drug addict. I've seen it's all gone well, beat tong. <laughs> I've seen a number of things you've done, and you don't look like a policeman. However, you chose, didn't you, to grow that tash. It's amazing, it transforms you. I mean, obviously, the uniform does as well, but everyone said, everyone said, well, it'd be great to have Paul Kay in the movie. This is absolutely true. People said, but, you can't possibly have him a policeman. But seriously, you put that on, you have the tash, I'd totally buy you as a policeman. Well, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yes, well, we've seen the film, and basically it's in contravention to the depiction of ethnic minorities in low-budget British Comedy Films Act of 2010. So I'm afraid we're going to have to confiscate the camera. Come on, it's a fair cop. This film is more institutionally racist than we are. I'm here with uh, Lee, who's the script supervisor, and uh, the script supervisor is the person who sits behind the camera and makes sure that what's written basically goes on film and checks all the continuity and checks the lines are right and does all that kind of stuff. And she, I think, has been my main ally, I feel, as the writer on set to make sure that what I wrote ends up on screen. But I'd like to know how it was for her, whether having the writer on set is a pain in the arse or useful or whatever. Unfortunately, she hates appearing on camera, so it might be quite a quick interview, I don't know. Lee, how was it having the writer on set? It was great. There we are. Is that licensed, that camera, sir? Do you want to go back to sleep now? <laughs>